Hello and welcome to the 12th tutorial in the JavaScript basics series and in this tutorial we're going to look at functions. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 2 if you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So what are functions? Functions are essentially blocks of code that can be called to execute and perform tasks. They are beneficial as they can basically run several times but only need to be written once which helps consistency and maintainability of code. So if you need to use a, do a specific task, maybe some sort of mathematical task, and you're running it several times, you could create a function, call it maybe 10 times, and if you need to change that, you could just change that once, and that change will propagate throughout. So that's fantastic about functions. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a text editor, then open up the files from tutorial 2, Then you want to go to the JavaScript file. And what we're going to do is going to, to declare a function, or write function, just do function. Then the actual function name, I'm just going to call it func name. Obviously, you want to write function names that sort of represent, or that basically represent what the function is doing. So you can just have a quick glance and say, oh, it's adding something, or it's doing this. And open and close bracket. And that's it. That is literally all you need to do for a function. So I'm just going to Actually, inside there, I'm going to put this. And if I run this now in a web browser, nothing should happen. There you go, nothing happens. And that is because the function does not get called unless you explicitly call it. So if I were to do func name, I'm going to go back to my web browser, refresh, it's called that function now. What you can also do, you can also pass in parameters. To pass in a parameter, first you just declare the name of it here. So I'm just going to put hello. And when you pass it in, I'm going to just pass in hello, I am Batman. And perhaps I'm, I'm going to print out hello. It's great so you can pass in data and manipulate it. So it's not just fixed to what's inside the function. I'll refresh, now it says hello, I am Batman. Also, what you can do, we're just going to go into some HTML now. And we're just going to write a button. This works for other items as well, like divs. A button is just visually more appearing for something like this. Equals, and what was the function name again? Funk name. Funk name. Put open and close bracket. And in between there, we're just going to put click me, please. And we put close the button tag, and that is it. And now, if we refresh, it says hello, I'm Batman, because I was the first one. And if we click on it, it says, oh, it says undefined. Oh, it's undefined because I haven't passed in a parameter. So I'm almost going to put in a different parameter and put Superman so you can actually see there's a different parameter. And I you don't want to do that, you want to, if you do quotation marks, it gets confused and closes it and then opens it up again. So refresh, click, and now it says Superman because we've clicked on it. Also, what you need to know is you, you can have a return statement. And the return statement looks like this return, and then you return what you want to. Perhaps I'm going to return 78. What that just means is when I call that function, it's returning that number 78. So if I just comment this out and I do alert uh, refresh it's alerting 78 and the reason it's alerting 78 is because it's been it's returned the number 78 you can return a variable or I mean obviously a variable a string a character boolean or also it's cool you can return something that you manipulate perhaps you passed in two numbers and you want to add them together you could do or not x plus y and you could return that number also another thing to note is lifetime variables if I put a variable x here equals to 10 doesn't matter what it's equal to x will be around for the entire lifetime of this website until you close it's a global variable but if i put a variable in the function equal to nine again doesn't matter what it's equal to y after this has returned or this function has finished no longer exists so you can't say can't access y here at all but you can access x that's a 
thing you've got to note if you declare a variable inside a function you can't access it afterwards so you might think let's just make it more global you don't want to do that because one it's more memory hungry also if you don't need to use it outside the scope of a function then why put it there because you could accidentally uh, access it and then cause issues so that's it for functions they're really great for executing blocks of code over and over and over again instead of duplicating it in the next tutorial we're going to look at operators if you have any questions feel free to message us and all the required links will be in the source code and as usual thanks for watching